Good morning, everyone. Today, I'll be showing you guys what my living situation has been for the past six months. I attend Cal Poly Pomona. People may not consider Pomona to be in LA because it's kind of not. It's kind of on the outskirts because it's in LA County. It's considered LA, but I moved in here for the fall semester and I haven't filmed a dorm tour, uh, so I decided to do it right now. I moved back in two weeks ago because we were required to leave over the winter break, so it's a bit messy but kind of just how it always looks because it's literally me living in half a room this might be short i don't know at pomona you have a couple options of where you want to live they have the red brick dorms and they have the new dorms which are these ones and they're pretty nice in the spring semester of 2020 the people in the red brick dorms were allowed to move into here but because of covid they were kicked out like after three or two months so they're pretty new not really lived in so to start this is the door <laughs> i'll show you a little bit of outside but People might be walking by, so I can't really. I'm just gonna peek out a little bit, but right across is just like a custodial room, and then the bathroom's right there. And then in the other direction, there's like water, and then there's a study room on this wall. And then at the entrance, we have a little evacuation map right here. The elevators are right here, so it's not that far. The stairwell is on the end of the building, so my roommate and I are always like the last people to evacuate if that ever happens oh my gosh there's supposed to be a drill this week but anyways on this side we just have our recycling bin and our trash that's kind of like gross they give you two bins for like the rubbish side i mean if you like don't want to be sharing each other's like trash i guess but we just use one we got this mirror from target when we first moved in but since it like bent weird it looked a little bit funky so we kind of just put it there and then this is a little dial for our ac but it's like kind of loud and it's pretty cold in here so i kind of just leave it off turning it on the heat setting doesn't really make a difference always kind of just like that and then this button is to release the magnet when we want a proper door open mainly just for moving out nobody really like leaves their door open here this is our light switch and it turns off automatically like all the lights in the building if there's like no movement you could also dim it if you want because it's pretty bright the outlet right here nobody really we don't really use it i know my roommate she has a little bit of more space right here so she put her fridge right there on this side i have my bags it's kind of like just for grocery shopping we just need to carry anything and then this is my roommate so and we actually have the handicap room and um, that's why there's two little peepholes right here and i think that's also why there's like this little setup right here our room is a tiny bit bigger than everyone else's room and we also have like a handicap bathroom as well well, I'm not sure if um, saying handicap is like offensive. I'm so sorry But the bathroom is also a little bit bigger and then we also have our cleaning stuff This is just a broom and then our Swiffer an extra trash bag and when you walk in this is what it looks like the right side is my side I definitely take up more space but it's because like she lives like 40 minutes away and I live four hours away I never really visit home as often as she does I kind of just have all my stuff here the view is really pretty outside so over here this is like my closet and kitchen it's funny because like how much you pack into like one area like this is my pantry this is my kitchen i guess and then this is like my dining and my schoolwork and also doing my makeup so like my vanity they have lockers in the bathroom where you could put your stuff in i felt like nothing dried in there and this like bag i'd have to shove it in there a certain way so i feel like it's easier just bringing it but yeah this is all just my toiletries and then i have my towel hanging up here no one left the command strip from last time so i kind of just use it to dry my face towel sometimes i don't like bringing this huge towel just to wash my face in the morning when i first moved in i didn't not get a curtain because i didn't realize i was supposed to cover my clothes and i wasn't going to but it looks a lot better if you do get one this one's a little bit sheer but i actually like the pattern and this is how much closet space you have i wish i could use like more of that space but it's all right i already have a lot of things but in this bin i have kind of like tiny tops i know they're like tops that are like hard to fold and i have an extra towel i'd recommend getting one if you're like gonna go to the beach or you're gonna go swim at the pool because i don't like mixing like my regular towel with like chlor chlor needed towels and then in here i have some swimsuits and then this is just my bra <laughs> my laundry down there i used to have another drawer it took up too much space in my car when i was moving and it was stressing me out a little bit because i have a lot of stuff and it's gonna be hard to move everything i adapted and i left my drawers at home and then all my shoes are in here along with these ones this is a bag that i just need to use and then i also just put cleaning stuff right here these are dryer sheets i did not have dryer sheets last semester i stole some from home but like the static 
like that builds up in the dryer machine, it's like not good. And then I have this huge thing of Tide Pods, and glass cleaner, and Clorox wipes, and that's about it, I guess. There's not much to clean here. And then over to my pantry. Don't mind my dirty dishes on the top. This is a little Post Malone baby, if you're wondering. My big gave it to me because I love Post Malone. So I just put it right there. It's kind of funny. It used to look like this, but then my big painted it and I think it looks fucking beautiful. But I didn't really organize this just because I'm gonna go through it. On the top, I just have mostly like condiments and everything. I have Chick-fil-A packets, yes. And look what I V gum. Quick stuff to make, oatmeal, hot chocolate, popcorn. These are microwavable meals. And then this thing I use to lug water over. There's a water dispenser outside, but sometimes I don't like leaving the room every single time. I got a burrito and it's a lot easier because you just have something to dispense out of right here. And this is just a bag I keep for like for dishes because there's obviously no sink here and you can't be washing your dishes in the bathroom because there's no like garbage disposal in there some people do it anyways which is kind of gross but yeah occasionally i'll just take this bag downstairs and wash everything but over here this is like all my dinnerware i guess they're like napkins this roll i just stole from the bathroom i just got bowls from target and some more kitty bowls from ikea these are very tiny but they work well for oatmeal and in here's all my utensils my knife my cleaning straw thing don't really recommend these because these are for kids and when i started using the knife for this it is so it's for kids it's literally for kids i tried cutting a mango and it just went out terribly and then inside my fridge don't judge me right now but right now it's filled with hot pockets i grew up with these and i was like i don't know what to get that i can make in a microwave because some things need to be toasted and this isn't one of them didn't have many options it's a little container of ice and i'm making ice right now and then um, breakfast burritos <laughs> french toast sticks and then these are pot stickers and these are taquitos i want to get more stuff but i haven't gone shopping i didn't have this whole fridge set up until this year and it's a lot better this is what my mini fridge looks like i'm sorry it doesn't really look aesthetic like the tiktoks but i'm in college it's kind of hard to find a mini fridge that doesn't have like the soda things because mainly these are used for soda but i don't drink soda at all so i put other stuff in there i tried getting healthy stuff the back of this fridge is kind of like freezing everything my ranch froze a little bit and this used to be back there and it my olive milk froze a little bit but i prepared some celery downstairs pre-cut them and then also got hummus the other day and carrots to try to be healthy and then i stole these this cantaloupe from the dining hall yesterday <laughs> i have strawberries a little chicken sandwich wrap chobani flip i really like these and then salami and oranges this is like an in-depth tour and we're required to put a towel under it in case it leaks so then moving on this is my little wall i did rip off the paint but just don't look at that but my big also painted that and gave that to me and then this i kind of just had from home i really like this i think it's really pretty and that's just my vaccine card a couple of photos and I just use this to hang up my mask, honestly. And then this is kind of my roadmap for my classes. Let me tell you guys something really quick. The way that they set up these rooms is they originally, this desk was behind this bed because they put them like opposite. So I guess each room it's set up like that, I guess to give each roommate their own space. So what did they do? They put the outlets on that end. And so on her end, it's on this side. So anyways, I have to put like an extension cord that goes all the way under the bed and you can see the little cord for my fridge and sometimes my fridge turns off because the extension cord isn't strong enough so that's unfortunate but <laughs> anywho this is what my desk slash vanity slash dining area looks like a little bit of a mess but it's again my whole life this is my statics homework that i should do then in this drawer i kind of just keep whatever i need last semester looks so bad because i didn't have these like drawer organizers so yeah this is what the top of my desk looks like i literally use it for everything because i don't have any other choice that's just more school supplies and then in here i have a bunch of products i'm trying to use up i know it might look like a mess but i do use a majority of them i have hair stuff and then more lipstick and then in here i have feminine products and then also cotton balls and no polish remover if i need it and then i have a hairbrush under there and then these are also from ikea I can hold like fruit and whatnot i want to get some for my sister yeah, here's my extension cord i had to take off my ipad charger from it because it was just killing it charges my laptop my wireless phone charger this is really convenient and then i just hung up a couple of bags over here because 
this thing actually used to be right here when but I had to move it because my fridge doesn't fit under the bed. So I put command strips on here just to hold a couple more things. And then onto my bed. My bedding is from Kohl's because I work there. And there's like, if you use coupons right, it was originally like $100, but I got it for like 25 or something. It came with everything. It came with like a fitted sheet and then a, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the second sheet is called. And then came with like three pillowcases and then these curtain lights I had from my room um, as well as that I think it looks really cute this just holds all of my clothes these are like tops and then this is like loungewear and then those are all like jeans and bottoms also don't ask me like why I have my pillows like this I find it more comforting if there's like cushion right there because I feel like the the wall is just cold and like uncomfortable and it's like hard so that's why I just lined my pillows there and it's too much over here. And then like I do have a lot of pillows, but literally this one always will sink into the crack. So that one doesn't even count. It's just like a filler, you know what I mean? And then I just have these two extra pillows. And then over here, let me show you the view real quick. This view is really nice. I mean, this is like our dining area cafeteria. Um, but other than that, it's a really nice view, I think. This is student services, CLA building. I forgot what highway that is right there. And then you can just literally see all the buildings. All my classes are in this one right here. That's the, that's the engineering building. And then the library, the stables, Bronco bookstore is right there. You can actually see the gym over there. And then this window, it's kind of cool, but this, when you open it, it'll shut off the AC automatically because you can't have them running at the same time. But it does only open like, mm, like six inches, I don't really know. And then when you do open this, it creates kind of like a suction. So when you open the door and it closes, it'll shut hard and it's very loud. And then when you also open it, it literally creates a draft. So my roommate kind of gets like, <laughs> whenever I open it, she gets like, a huge whiff of wind it also like pulls the door open if you guys know what i mean i'm not sure what like the name of that is called and then i just have uh, my plants here these are letters for my sorority and then i have an orchid right there and then over here i brought this from home i think i'm the only person who brought something like this because i'm extra because no one really brings like extra little dresser thing except i just have a lot of stuff and i also wanted like a night li a, like a little nightstand thing but i just keep stuff right here like a clip and lotion if i need it and my glasses i had to move my ipad charger over here because the other extension cord was not working with it and this is actually really nice because when i want to turn on my little lights on at night it's really easy because it's right next to me and i just have like face mask underwear socks nail polish stuff like that in there and then i also brought this rug just because i feel like i need to wipe my feet before I get in bed you know I like mop the floors once a week maybe I need to do it more often but our floors aren't super messy under here I wanted this originally on top of my fridge but it did not work out with the extension cord obviously and then I just have extra Tupperware I have bags if I need to lug anything over and then because sweatpants take up a lot of space I kind of just put it in this basket it's like a weird setup but like what can I do here I just have more bags and like other stuff I have extra clothes for like the summer and this is stuff that I use for like moving out or moving in because I don't like bringing these this huge thing of like mouthwash I put it in like a travel size I put everything in a little travel size in my little bag over there and then I just like refill them every now and then there's just extra pads body wash other stuff and my suitcases are back there but yeah that's about it these pillowcases I got from Amazon I'll put some of the things that I have in my dorm like in the description box so if you were just wondering if you were wondering why I like have this poked out a little bit it's because well one for my bags but also sometimes I'm too lazy to jump up but also so I can just like step on it because literally for me to get on it it's like like look at it's above my waist so it's a lot easier to get on it like this all right okay so i think that is about it let me know if you guys have any questions i think i am going to film a little what you need to know about the dorms and the living situations and the options you have on campus uh, for this school let me know if you guys have any questions about that yeah so hopefully you enjoyed watching everything that i have right now it's very interesting to live in here these are actually supposed to be like only for freshmen but i think because of covid they wanted to allow second years to move in here as well 
and honestly I really wanted to experience it sometimes it is a struggle because you do have like a roommate and I'm like 20 years old but I mean that's the situation when you're like tight on housing I guess I'll get into that later stay tuned for my next video when I talk about how it is living here thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one